wrong, you ain't gonna fight. I give up, I'm doing the other night. Everything's wrong, everything stinks. The only thing that broke a hallelujah is the kitchen sink. Howdy, folks. Good morning, folks. Uh, Big Ed Barnum here from uh, Big Ed Barnum's Bobble Barn and Garden with a very important message for you. I know the I've got one person on. Uh, thank you for joining, Mr. Rick Marquart, uh, out there in northern Kentucky. Um, forgot what I was going to say. A uh, very special uh, uh, message for you. We were supposed to be live streaming last night, but uh, had a little bit of a technical hiccup slash meltdown. And uh, it's, been, it's also been a rough week. Uh, I had to spend some time in Lake Oswego. Uh, not the lake itself, but the incorporated city uh, of Lake Oswego. Uh, and a little bit of time in Oregon City. Uh, I don't know if you know this about Oregon City, but it's actually where uh, the, the official endpoint uh, of the Oregon Trail uh, in Oregon City is uh, older than the city of Portland itself, actually. Uh, actually, if you want to get in a knife fight... Uh, in the alley of a saloon, uh, Oregon City is, is still a place where you can uh, <clears throat> engage in that sort of activity. Um, I hope, uh, seems like my mic might be a little hot, but uh, I don't see it pinging red yet. I'm just going to go on. Uh, last night, we couldn't uh, live stream, so I thought I'd get up. Uh, it's about 6.35 here uh, on the West Coast. I hope the morning is finding you uh, in good health and in good spirits, uh, drinking some... Uh, Refresh sparkling water. Uh, no whiskey or beer this morning. Um, just going to go right into it. Cole Screaming Eagle Wilson can't be here because, uh, well, he likes to sleep in with his uh, Laotian uh, hairdresser um, on Saturday mornings. I found out she's not married. Uh, actually, Cole has uh, taken me to task several times uh, over their uh, romantic relationship and he says there is no romantic relationship and that uh, she's a happily married woman i found out she's not married at all uh, anyway i expect him to give me a an earful of piss uh next time he uh, sees me uh, over that uh proof of live with the uh, uh new york times uh, it's actually uh yesterday's new york times uh, i was a little too lazy to uh uh pick up uh this morning's actually just too early to, uh, to pick up uh, this morning's uh, New York Times. Usually the fella puts it on my front porch, uh, but it's raining a lot this morning. So I don't know if he's just uh, hanging on the bedpost or uh, just taking a sweet time. Uh, but one thing, uh, you know, I love the uh, Friday uh, New York Times because it's got the Weekend Arts 1 and the Weekend Arts 2 sections. There's so much so much art going on in New York that uh, they, they need two sections. And I'm just going to... Just gonna butcher this here really quick. There's an article in here that, uh, for me, is kind of timely for one reason. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the main camera here. Uh, I'll stay on this for a second. Uh, it's where the Broadway magic is made. It's a uh, it's a story about uh, one of the uh, well. It used to be a porn theater back in the day, but now uh, the building's been uh, refurbished. Uh, it's where a lot of uh, studios. Uh, are maintained and a lot of Broadway shows are uh, workshopped, uh, rehearsed, <coughs> worked on in a very variety of ways. And if you uh, just take a look at uh, this list of things here, these are about 15 different things that are happening in uh, this theater on any given day. Uh, Hamilton, let's see what's going on here. Uh, there's another set of rehearsals going on for the second U.S. tour of Hamilton, which I saw this week. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, if you can believe it, uh, Jimmy Buffett's uh, Margaritaville uh, has been turned into a musical. I hear it's uh, I hear it's about as delicious uh, as a as a cheeseburger uh, on a, a sinking raft. I, I, don't, I don't know why. Uh, digging myself into a hole there. Anyway, there's all kinds of stuff happening uh, in this uh, building maintained by. Uh, the Broadway uh, communities. And then uh, I also saw a little bit of glare on there, but uh, we'll just live with it. Uh, I saw Hamilton this week. Now, I don't know if you know, of course you know, Hamilton is a musical, Broadway musical, uh, about the life and times of Alexander Hamilton and a fateful duel. Spoiler alert, uh, he loses in a duel uh, to Aaron Burr. I almost said Raymond Burr, uh, which I don't know if anybody ever lost a duel to Raymond Burr. 
Uh, they probably lost a role to Raymond Burr because he is such a great actor that uh, if you uh, if you uh, auditioned with Raymond Burr, you probably lost the part. has nothing to do with a, a duel and the Founding Fathers, but uh, that's just where my mind goes uh, on a morning like this. Anyway, saw Hamilton this week. Uh, and I got to tell you, there was about a 20-minute segment uh, when the women uh, are singing about uh, uh, what it is to be marginalized uh, throughout history and uh, also at the same time bringing uh, comedy and uh, heartbreak uh, to that. Anyway, uh, I'd been working about 44, 45 hours already by the time I'd seen it and had a few bourbons and that stuff just touched me and I, and I, and I wept. I had to turn to my wife and say, can you believe I'm weeping? I didn't say that out loud. I just... Anyway, I saw Hamilton. Uh, if you get a chance to see it, whether you do the lottery where you can get $10 tickets or whether you pay a full $565 for a VIP experience or you score some tickets in that sweet spot of $150, $225, $245, I think it's worth uh, every penny. Uh, I'm going to put this over here because I'm going to do New York Times crossword puzzle, um, as always. Uh, folks, as you may know, we are sponsored by DAC Celebrity Can Hams. I haven't got, I haven't figured out my left from my right when I turn 90 degrees. Anyway, uh, DAC Celebrity Can Ham, it's the finest canned ham Denmark has to offer. And I am paid modestly in ham product, uh, to, uh, to, uh, say that. I just saw, uh. Uh, uh, sword fighting comment there, and uh, I understand what you're saying, uh, uh, Mr. Adams. Uh, but uh, let's, let's just let's just keep that uh, let's just keep it above board there. Um, Deck celebrity can ham. It is the finest can ham Denmark has to offer, uh, and I'm just going to keep saying that because every time I have one of their hams, uh, I find it absolutely delicious. It's actually refreshing. If you're actually going to be out in the middle of the desert, uh, or uh, you know. Southeast Asia, you know, the jungle, any place where you're uh, tempted to get, uh, you know, suffer dehydration or uh, malaria, uh, excessive diarrhea, you know, a good canned ham is something that uh, it's going to bring your electrolytes up. You know, in Denmark, they call this the electrolytic ham because it's got a lot of electrolytes uh, in the brine. Um, salty. We also got the rotating ham up there, I think. Yeah, it's in the shot. Um, somebody asked me the other day, uh, what are you guys doing to do your... Uh, multi-cam switching well we're using a little thing called switcher studio i'll put a link to that up uh later but uh we're just running on iphones and an ipad and i can stream uh my desktop to this thing and it seems to be working out fairly well we'll find out uh af after uh at the end of this uh i'm just making sure i don't have my cheat sheet i got a tiny cheat sheet but i don't have my full uh cheat sheet here now uh normally what we had planned to do for the spring into happy hour live streams is we were going to be talking about what we were drinking uh, because Cole Screaming Eagle Wilson uh, was going to be making up uh, different kinds of cocktails uh, for each live stream, but he's not here. Uh, and I'm just drinking refresh uh, seltzer water. Uh, there's Rainier over there, but I figure out I ought to wait till about uh, 9.15 uh, in the morning local time here to uh, before I have my first Rainier of the day. You know, Rainier is something you, you can actually literally... Uh, drink it all day. Um, you don't want to like funnel it. You don't. You don't want to drink it keg style, fraternity party style. But you can sip on it all day, especially if you're uh, working in the garden or cutting grass. Anyway, I'm just gonna have a sip of this. I feel like I'm going about 90 miles an hour. Uh, that's probably because I'm alone, and suddenly I'm 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 well aware of all the work that Cole Screaming Eagle Wilson does to. Uh, from a technical standpoint, help me pull off. I sound like I got a bunch of snot in my nose, but I don't. Uh, I'm well aware on mornings like this of uh, the time, the attention, the energy, and the technical prowess that Cole Screaming Eagle Wilson uh, brings uh, to the live stream. Uh, and in light of that, I have no idea how why he's never successfully landed uh, an aircraft in his entire uh, aviation career. So, spring into happy hour. I'm just going to move the ham here. I'll, my, I might open this one later. Let's see what the... Uh, yep, this one's still good through uh, uh, no, uh, January of 2022. So, I've got... I don't have to eat that one today. Uh, so, spring into happy hour. Uh, the first day of spring was this week. So, we are officially in spring. And 
you know, spring cleaning is uh, one of those things that a lot of people uh, not just talk about, but they actually do. So I was going through uh, some of my wife's books to see what I could throw out. Um, that's a joke. Um, and I came up with uh, the life-changing magic of tidying up the Japanese art of decluttering and organi organizing by Marie Kondo. And uh, this is a book that's uh, supposed to help you uh, get your mind, your spirit, and uh, everything uh, in your cupboards, your pantries, your closets, your drawers, uh, under your bed, uh, wherever you have stuff. It's an attempt to uh, uh, get you to clean up. If, and if I sound a little uh, apprehensive about this thing, it's, it's mostly because, you know, when I hear when someone says the Japanese art of something, uh, you know I think that you know it it's an established art form or uh, an established school of thought or something like that. But it turns out there there really is no Japanese art of decluttering and organizing. Uh, I mean there is. It's called uh, uh, I can't remember Kanmari, which actually if you take uh, Marie Kondo, uh, Kanmari is a is a mix of her names. So that. That's where the origin of the uh, the name of the Japanese art of uh, uh, decluttering and organizing comes. And you know, when, also when people say the the Japanese art or the Swedish art or the uh, Swahili art or the uh, Peruvian art, when they say uh, a nationality or a culture and they add uh, art to it you think that it's something that's relatively old. You know, it's been around for a while, as, you know, a lot of cultures have been around for a while. But it turns out the, the Japanese art of decluttering and organizing is, is actually only about three and a half years old. Um, and, and the real magic, the, the befuddling magic, the flummoxing magic, is that uh, this thing has sold, uh, I think it's eight million copies. It's either six or eight million copies. Either way, the real magic is the marketing department... Um, being able to sell, it says 3 million copies sold here, but I think this uh, copy that my wife had is, uh, is pretty old. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to demystify, I'm going to pretend it is an art, and I'm going to demystify it for you. Here it is. Every item you own, pick it up and touch it. If that item does not bring you joy, if it doesn't create a fire in your heart, you toss that item, whether it's something that goes in the garbage or the uh, donation pile, uh, you get rid of it. And the third, and that's sort of one and two. One, you touch everything. Two, you register how much joy it brings. And if it doesn't bring any joy to you, you get rid of it. And three, is you just keep doing that until you have about uh, 35, 40 bags of uh, trash or things that you're going to donate or, or your spouse leaves you because you threw something of theirs uh, away. Uh, and another uh, premise of the book here, I, I don't know why I keep switching to it because I... I this thing's going to go uh, in the donation pile, that's for sure. I'm going to follow the advice uh, in this book. Uh, I'm going to hold it. Here, here I am. I'm holding this book. It brings absolutely no joy uh, to me, and it, it creates no fire in my arguably uh, cold, dead heart. So I will be taking the advice of Marie Kondo, and, pr and I will practice the Japanese art of decluttering and organizing uh, by getting rid of this book. Um, and actually, before I do, I'll just say this. Uh, do, do you feel a deep depression in your life or a disconnection uh, from those around you? It's probably because you haven't organized uh, your underwear drawer. That's, that's also uh, an underlying uh, thing of the book here. Anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to throw it. You know, I don't want to, you know, actually I feel a little bit bad. I, I've started the morning and I've started a, a, the live stream by denigrating a book. And, uh, you know, I like books. I hate... Uh, Hate denigrating a book and uh, crap talking a book, but uh, that's that's one that, uh, yeah, enough to say about that. Uh, however, you know, despite not liking that book, I have been doing a little bit of spring cleaning, and I have a few things here that I'm going to give away. <clears throat> it is uh, got some prizes that I'm going to give away to, and I think actually I'll just. Uh, review these prizes for a second here. I think uh, I think I can remember how I was going to do this. Today's prizes, now this has changed a little bit because we were supposed to be streaming uh, last night and it turns out we're not. 
Uh, actually, there's a there's a spoiler here, so I'm actually I'm actually not gonna reveal these prizes just yet. How's that for a tease? How's this for a tease? Sorry. Um, so a little bit of spring cleaning going on in my house. One of the things that I found, and I'm gonna try not to crinkle uh, the paper on this too much, is I found uh, something. A little glare on there. This is a uh, something I'm just gonna call. Japanese food dice. There's a couple of dice in here, and there's a pen. Uh, blue, black, and red ink in that pen. And uh, it's a set of uh, food dice that, uh, let's say you have a refrigerator full of food, and you have a, a fully equipped kitchen. You know, you've got a stove, you have a, a deep fryer, you have a microwave, you have all kinds of things. One of the things you can do, don't know what you want to cook, don't know how you want to cook it, well, you roll these dice, and you might get a result that says, uh, deep fry some fish, or uh, bake some pork. Now, it's fairly simple. It's not a, a, a recipe generator. I mean, it's only two six-sided dice, so there's only uh, so many combinations of uh, stuff. But one's usually an ingredient, and one's usually a cooking method. Uh, I'm going to give that away <clears throat> as a prize at the end of the li live stream uh, today. Uh, as usual, before I get to the rest of the spring cleaning, uh, we will also be giving away a DAC Celebrity Can Ham uh, as a prize today. Uh, and if you want to be eligible for the prizes this morning, the only thing you have to do is uh, put a comment in the comment stream, and uh, I'll get to the I'll get to the contest technology uh, here in a few moments um, about how you can collect some of these prizes. And before I get to the ones that I'm really pleased uh, to share with you this morning, I also found. Um, some classic fit t-shirts, uh, size extra large. Uh, I can't wear these. Uh, I'm a, I'm a double XL kind of guy. And, uh, these are classic fit. Uh, I don't usually wear, uh, classic fit, uh, t-shirts anymore. I kind of like the newfangled modern look when it comes, uh, to a t-shirt. Uh, something that's a little more flattering for my neckline, uh, I found. So, uh, if you want to be eligible for winning some extra large t-shirts, uh, it's a three pack, uh, you know, I, I can take a break here in a few minutes and you can go measure your chest. And if you're like, if your chest is 46 to 48, these, uh, these should fit you. You do have to, you know, some of the kids might make fun of it because it's a classic fit, uh, t-shirt. It's actually a diagram, uh, here on the back that tells you all the good things about, uh, this particular, uh, type of t-shirt. And I, I'll fix that. I'll fix that glare for the next, uh, live stream. Now, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything, because I am here alone. Uh, Cole Screaming Eagle Wilson usually keeps me in check on a number of things. And I'm just going to try to set up a little vignette here of what we have as one of today's prizes. I am pleased to share with you, you know, next weekend, if I've got my calendar right, is uh, Easter weekend. And uh, a good friend of mine, Joe Frice, up in Stevenson, Washington, uh, has a little store where he sells all kinds of uh, knickknacks. And he, uh, he actually gave these to me. He was like, Big Ed, I, nobody comes in here. You know, he sells a lot of old VHS porn and science fiction and fantasy toys and stuff like that. And he said, nobody comes in here for uh, any type of uh, religious holiday stuff. So he, he just gave these to me. And these are about, uh, if you go out on eBay, these are anywhere from a 5 to a $10 value. But these are uh, Mason's Iron Stone Easter Thimbles. And we still got a little bit of glare in there. Here, I'm going to do, uh, do the old thing here. You know, my finger's a little too big for these uh, thimbles. This is meant for your dainty aunt. Sorry, your dainty aunt or your grandmother. Uh, anybody in the family that has, you know, sort of a, a, a finger that's not just a, a large uh, German sausage. So you can, you can really... Uh, get in there. So I got seven of these things and uh, they're they're kind of beautiful I think. You know there's an Easter egg in there. There's a little yellow uh, I think it's a duck. Um, so these are nice. So you know whether you uh, spend the uh, Easter holiday uh, celebrating the the resurrection or uh, being frightened uh, of the resurrection uh, this is a this is an interesting way that you can uh, share 
the Easter spirit. Uh, and I'm going to give away uh, all seven of these as part of today's uh, prizes. So speaking of prizes, I think I can, I can now share today's prizes. For the most part, there's uh, a couple things here. Uh, we've got the Japanese food dice. We've got the Easter thimbles. Oh, there's an elegant cocktail shaker. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go mobile here for a second. Uh, hopefully, not gonna bump that camera. Bump that camera. Another reason to lose weight when your belly bumps the camera. And I'm gonna move this. Oh, I found something else. I'm gonna give away. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. And it'll reset that. Oh, and I'll just uh, remind you that leave a comment to be eligible uh, for the prizes. It looks like we have two people eligible for the prizes, but uh, there's a somewhat, some small lag uh, between uh, me being able to see the comments and, uh, you know, them coming in. Uh, I see somebody's waiting to get their blood drawn, and uh, they're, they're worried about prize eligibility. Well, if you've left a comment, you're eligible for the prize. Let me see if I can get back on my main camera here. Oh, actually, uh, I don't think you folks uh, saw the camera move um, because you were on the static shot of the uh, price thing. I'm going to do something in a second that uh, will either be magical or a magical disaster moving these things here. Uh, another thing, you know, I love drinking. I love making cocktails. But sometimes, you know, you, you go to your bar cabinet... Uh, or your little uh, butler, your your drinking hutch, uh, whatever type of furniture where you hide uh, most of your uh, drinking and drinking uh, paraphernalia. You know, you can only use so many. This is an interesting thing. This this shaker is so good at trapping air that it has so much air in it you can't actually close it. There, maybe 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 you screw it. I don't know. Screw it. Either way. Um, here, let's take the top off there. Get that settled, and there we go. Still wants to pop off. Anyway, if you want an elegant, uh, if if you want elegance in a hand displayed item, I am certainly not it. Here, let's do it this way. There's the top of it. You got your uh, spade, your diamond, your club, and your heart, and you need all those. Uh, you want all those. Uh, the spirit of those things. You know, when you're doing a shake. You know, I see some people, they grab their shaker like this, and then they start shaking, and I'm like, whoa, 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 what are you trying to do here? Are you trying to ruin your sweater? Um, you like to put my finger right there and do that, or, you know, if you're going to do a little, you know, body stuff, you know, get in there and shake it like that. Anyway, this is another thing I'm going to give away today. And one final thing that I found uh, that I'm going to give away Uh and, you know, these things uh, do bring a little bit of joy to my heart, so I, I'm a little reluctant to give them away. It's a little baggie of five white dairy cows. I don't know if you can see that or not because of the glare and my inability to pull focus in uh, any type of real time here. Let's see if I can get in on that. There we go. Oh, Lord. Here, let me just take one of these out. There you go. There's one of them right there. Here's another one saying, "Hey, how do you do? Let's go give some milk and let's do uh, let's go do our milk duty. Let's go get our teats pulled." Anyway, uh, I haven't even been drinking, and uh, I feel like I'm uh, all over the place uh, with these things. So anyway, uh, apologies for not live streaming last night. Uh, it, it broke my heart a little bit, but there was just so many things going on this week and we had a little bit of a technical meltdown that uh, we thought, well, let's just pull the plug and then let's go down to the moon and six pence and drink uh, way too much uh, old speckled hen uh, with whiskey chasers. Um, I think that's all about all I've got uh, this morning. So uh, prizes that we're going to give away, just really quick, we're going to give away seven of the Easter thimbles. Let me pull back out here. Eh, that's the other way. Going to give away seven of these Easter thimbles. Going to give the Japanese food dice away. Going to give a ham away. And going to give 
this shaker away. Felt like there's something else back there. Oh, it's just the oh, yeah, it's the white dairy cows. Which, you know, the, if you just pull this out of your pocket at a party and do this, somebody's going to think you either have uh, methamphetamine or uh, rock cocaine. If you do that, it just looks like that. But it's it's just white uh, cows. I don't I don't even know why I brought that brought that up. <clears throat> All right, I think I think we're done here. Hit the 31 minute mark. Uh, four of that was pre-roll as I was trying to get things uh, together here. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to scroll through the comments here. Oh, it looks like I can't actually scroll over here. So I better come over here and just see uh, what I got going on over here. Looks like uh, looks like we're going to have uh, two people winning just about everything. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to a thing here, a little bit of a technology in action, and I'm going to go, I need to switch my view here, don't want somebody to see something that they shouldn't, and let's do this, I'm going to refresh the posts here, While well, I take a big drink of uh, seltzer water, we've got uh, two reactions and 12 comments. I think they're all from the same person. Same two people, that is. And I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to line this stuff up in order. Give me one second here. I've not done this part before, so I'm a little, and I'll have to remember this later. The first item that I'm going to be giving away is a DAC Celebrity Canned Ham. It has, oh, this is the one I was going to eat uh, later, but, you know, it has a best buy date of 2022. 20, 2022. I just getting my stuff mixed up all right I'm gonna pick a winner here for it Roger C Adams I heard Raymond Burr liked sword fighting I'm, I'm a little embarrassed that that's the actual winning comment but uh, Roger C Adams Craig uh, you just won yourself a canned ham. I know where you live. And I also know I've got a, an electronic device that I've, uh, I'm about two months overdue uh, sending it to you. Uh, I'll put that in uh, with the ham and probably other things that you're going to win here. I also owe uh, someone else in your household uh, a, an item that they won uh, during our testing. All right. Next item as a prize is the Japanese food dice. And let's see. Let's go back over here. And we're gonna do. We're gonna pick another winner. Is what we're gonna do here. And uh, I bet it's gonna be Roger Adams or Rick Marquardt that wins the Japanese food dice. It is Rick Marquardt. You just won. I am waiting to get my blood drawn. You might win everything, Roger. Well, Rick Marquardt, that is not the case because you just won yourself couple of Japanese food dice and this is this three color pen as well and Rick I remember elementary school when you used to use uh, I think it was the Bic uh, four color uh, ink pens so I think this is going to be something uh, you get quite a bit of joy and enjoyment out of all right time to give away seven of these things you know I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give away uh, two of these things uh, Rick there's one for you Roger, there's one for you. Uh, how about uh, make it a pair each so that uh, you and your spouses uh, can get in some sort of uh, thimble fight or whatever it is uh, that you do uh, when you put the kids to bed. Uh, I'm not trying to make it a, a blue show or uh, racy or anything like that. I'm just saying, you know, if you're going to have one thimble in the, in the household, you might as well have two. All right, let's see. Time to give away. I'm just going to leave this on this camera here because it doesn't quite fit on the uh, close-up camera. I'm going to go back over here and uh, going to pick a winner for the Boston Shaker. You're, when I contact you to send you this stuff, 
you're you're welcome to say, Big Ed Barnum, I don't want that junk in my house because I'm just going to throw it away. Why don't you do me the favor, save the postage, and throw it away yourself? You can just to you can totally tell me that, but I'd like to share this stuff with you. All right, so we're going to go back over here, and we're going to pick another winner. Winner of the Poker Boston Shaker is Roger Adams, our extended family, included in that advice. I don't remember what that advice was. I'll have to go back and uh, review uh, the comments on that. But Roger Adams, you just won yourself a beautiful uh, shaker. I just got kind of quiet there. I'm just remembering all the uh, cocktails that I used to make uh, in this thing. Now, I think I got this right. Uh, this is Roger's pile here. And now I know the one that you are most interested in. Who is going to win the white dairy cows? There's five of them in there. There's also a couple of links from uh, sort of like a chain bracelet kind of thing. So I'm just going to load this up here. There's probably a better way. I'm using a free account on Woobox here. There's probably more elegant ways to run uh, these contests. And uh, so this will be the fourth one on the list when I hit pick another winner. And it is Roger Adams. Roger Adams, you're the big winner today. You get the dairy cows, uh, the ham. And we all know ham comes from uh, dairy cows. Ah! No, it doesn't. Um, two thimbles and the uh, Boston Shaker. Now, I know what you're wanting to ask me. Big Ed Barnum, that leaves you with three Easter thimbles. Well, uh, I think that tells me that uh, maybe I ought to have another live stream just some impromptu time this week where I do nothing but just give away a couple of Easter thimbles. You know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know why <clears throat> uh, you'd you'd have an Easter thimble. I, I don't know who thought up that idea. Actually, uh, Mason's Ironstone they they do all kinds of decorative uh, thimbles. <clears throat> anyway, uh, thanks for sharing uh, your morning with me. I know some of you uh, uh, have possibly passed out. Uh, on the blood don blood donation table, uh, you know, I did that once and uh, scared the hell out of <clears throat> uh, the people around me. All right, folks, uh, thanks for uh, spending uh, part of your morning with me. I will get these uh, items in the mail. I do believe I have valid addresses for both of you, and I will get these things out in the mail right about now.